At Hack the Box, we tested nearly 5,000 cyber professionals to uncover the true threat readiness and performance of security teams, eventually coming up with the Cyber Attack Readiness Report 2024. During last year's global Capture the Flag competition, Business CTF 2024, The Vault of Hope, we tested 943 corporate teams and nearly 5,000 security professionals worldwide and discovered some shocking yet actionable insights for you. So here's what we found according to the solve rates across different industries, and specifically let's focus on IT services, government, and finance industries. The IT services industry demonstrated major strengths being among top performers. They excelled in coding, blockchain, and hardware security, and surprisingly scored below average at forensics challenges, highlighting the potential need for more attention on investigative and incident response training. On the other hand, the government sector demonstrated high discrepancies when it came to skill and ability, with some domains being less relevant for them, for now. Government teams demonstrated high potential in forensics, ICS, and hardware security, where they scored 29.5% higher than average. However, there was an evident struggle with blockchain and web security, revealing a critical skills gap concerning IoT and web app security. The finance sector showed impressive forensic capabilities, yet achieved a just below average overall score. One shocking result was that collectively financial institutions scored 22% below in hardware security, a major concern when it comes to payment security and fraud prevention. This is also concerning considering the high investments but also typical exposure to risk and threat actor that this sector faces. Ultimately, some industries are leading and some are falling behind, similar to how some are being targeted more than others. What matters is improvement. Before we get into that, let's take a look at three major highlights from our cyber attack readiness report, having surveyed all participants of the competition. We examined the most common causes of breaches and found that 60% of breaches come from misconfigured permissions, weak application security, and social engineering. The even more shocking to us statistic was that 20% of teams rarely train. And shockingly enough, within this statistic, it appears that blue teams are training less than red teams. Meanwhile, from those who do train, we found that more than 67% of teams rely on certifications and labs to benchmark their skills. The reality of all this is that no industry or team is truly prepared in the face of a continuously growing threat landscape. And very little will get close. And one-time certifications or periodic assessments are not an effective form of cyber risk management. So how can you benchmark your team skills to ensure true cyber resilience and preparedness against evolving threats? Using Hack the Box, organizations can engage in continuous threat-informed benchmarking in four different ways. The first is using Capture the Flag events for data-driven benchmarking allowing you to flexibly evaluate team skills and understand key gaps by customizing a CTF event through a library of over 135 scenarios and utilize tailored reports to align insights with training priorities. The second is creating framework-aligned workforce development plan for continuous performance monitoring that can be easily achieved by utilizing an ever-expanding content library of learning paths, hands-on labs, and enterprise attack simulations, all aligned to industry frameworks such as NIST, NICE, and MITRE ATT&CK. The third way is to enable skills-based hiring by using Hack the Box for all stages of hiring from talent sourcing up to skills-based assessments. This can be done by tapping into a community of over 600,000 verified job seekers with proven expertise and set up a dedicated assessment space to evaluate the skills that truly matter. Finally, you can use certifications to verify and retain the skills acquired. Utilizing threat-informed job role paths and specializations, you can offer structured career leveling to your workforce and validate their efforts and knowledge with industry certifications. Utilizing such practices to continuously evaluate and understand your security posture is the only way to effective cyber risk management. Interested in creating your own benchmarking powerhouse? You can get started by joining this year's Global Cyber Skills Benchmark and test your team's capabilities against global standards, along with a chance to win from a $50,000 prize pool. Otherwise, you can visit hackthebox.com business and start crafting your own workforce development plan.